Hello everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and yes, it's time for another tutorial and today I'm planning to create a social media advertisement for Nike and for that I have downloaded this image from Nike website and if you want to download the same image check on the official website and also I'll provide the download link for that image and so with that note let's start with the tutorial so first thing first let's create a new work composition so for that go to file click on new and I will create my like 1920 1080 I'll go for 1920 by 1080 and just to make a higher resolution let's keep it as 300 and I'll just change the color bit to 16 and let's rename as a banner or or whatever you would like to name it so click on create first let's drag and drop this image over here yes and then I'll just minimize this layer for now and let's keep it somewhere in the middle and just let's right click convert to smart object this is what I like to do it so control T let's make it a little smaller maybe somewhere on this size okay now let's drag and drop the main background over here and same thing right click convert to smart object and press on control T let's make it a little bigger and let's put it under and same thing control T let's make it a little more bigger and maybe let's change the perspective so right click on perspective let's make it more flat and let's make it a little bigger control T and this is looking pretty good let's move this to a little down maybe somewhere over here all right now let's uh, drag and drop the next sky image over here and like before doing anything let's rename this file so double click this layer too let's rename it as a pg let's rename this as a sky and let's rename it as a sue and then let's click click on background layer and create a layer max and go to press and make sure the color is black and i'll just go for soft round brush and let's erase these parts I don't want those so let's get rid of this part all right now let's make this sky image a little smaller control T and let's go back to background layer I don't want those parts so again click on press and let's get rid of this part all right and let's go back to our sue layer and let's uh, create a new layer and let's fill it with some darker color and let's alt press on alt and backspace and right click create clipping max and let's create a layer max over here and go to brush let's go for the black color and let's get some of these parts so just to add a little kind of shadow thing on the bottom something like this maybe let's switch it to white I want some over here all 
all right this is looking pretty okay for now maybe we can change it anytime later now let's create a one more layer in between and let's rename it as a shadow let's say it's a D -O -W shadow and let's go back to brush and this time I will just squeeze this brush like this and let's go for the same darker color and maybe squeeze some more Let's press Ctrl T. Let's squeeze a little bit. And let's move it somewhere over here. And this is looking pretty okay. Now let's re drop down the opacity a little bit. And let's add one more layer and go to brush again. And this time I will just add a little darker just on the bottom, but there is a contact point. Ctrl T, let's make it a little smaller. Let's move it somewhere over here and let's drop down the opacity a little bit. Let's go back to this layer and let's create some of this part a little bit. Alright, now let's create one more layer. Let's edit fill, fill gray, and right click create clipping max and let's change the blending mode to soft light let's do some dozen burn so I'll just go for burn tool and let's increase the exposure up to 47 or and let's add some burn over here just a little subtle touch this is after yeah, maybe some more on the bottom and let's add a little highlights on the top so go for does and let's add a little does somewhere over here maybe some over here all right now let's do some color adjustment for our main background so select on background layer go to filter go to camera raw filter and let's increase the clarity increase the texture drop down the highlights and i dropped out the vibrance a little bit all right maybe let's increase the noise reduction too so again go to camera raw filter Go to detail tab and maybe increase the noise reduction a little bit and maybe increase the sharpening a little bit all right this is looking pretty good now let's create a one more curve and let's make it like really dark i think this is pretty okay and let's click on this layer max icon and let's fill it with black and go to brush again and make sure the color is white and just go for soft brush and let's add some darken I think this is looking pretty good let's see it before after maybe add some on the bottom over here and now let's add a color LUT so go over here add a color lookup and from here I'll just go for teal and orange and maybe let's Drop down the opacity a little bit. And 
for the curve, maybe it's up too much. Let's increase a little bit. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. And let's do some adjustment on sky image too. Select this is sky image. Control T. Now let's uh, drag and drop this image over here. And let's keep it all the way to the bottom. Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. And let's change it to screen and maybe let's drop down the opacity maybe like around 15 all right now let's add a photo filter and I'll just go for green I think this this gives a kind of cinematic look let's drop down the opacity a little bit maybe just to give a little subtle touch now let's add some uh, design elements so for that I'll just go over here and go for triangle tool and I don't want the stroke so for the stroke click on none and for the fill I'll just go for this lighter color and, uh, let's draw a triangle and now let's make a copy Control J and click on this direct path selection tool and let's change it to somewhere over here click on ok and let's change the color to maybe a little darker and let's make a copy again control J and from here let's bring it somewhere over here let's keep it on the same point drag this point and let, let's keep it somewhere over here and for this one I'll just go for a little lighter color let's see how it looks and for for the main triangle maybe let's make it a little more darker or Yeah, I think this is looking pretty good so okay and now let's select all these triangles make a group ctrl G and just for the safety I'll make a copy turn off these layers and right click convert to smart object now press ctrl T let's keep it somewhere over here add another control J control T let's keep it maybe somewhere over here control J control T let's make it a little bigger Let's add some text so go over here click on text so maybe let's decrease the size a little bit I think the size is a little better let's add a Nike logo so let's drag and drop over here control T let's make it a little smaller let's change the position maybe let's bring it to the bottom this is pretty looking pretty okay 
now let's add a rectangle so go over here add a rectangle and for this one I don't want fill and I want some strokes and maybe the stroke size let's keep it as 5 and let's draw a size over here and let's type some text drop down the stroke size ok I think this is pretty ok and for the font let's change this 50% to maybe like bold okay. let's make it a little smaller and maybe change the position let's keep it somewhere over here Make a copy of this two layer control J and let's go for this one make a clip bigger let's maybe change the rotation and let's drop down the opacity to maybe around 12 percent and let's change the blending mode to overlay and let's create a hue and saturation and click on clip to layer and let's drop down the saturation and maybe let's increase opacity a little bit Ctrl T And let's bring this two layer all the way to the bottom maybe under that layer and let's increase the opacity a little bit for this layer so yeah that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video